I'm just wondering about this situation where a mother is preparing and eating a whole plant-based meal and dad wants his beef and chicken and the kids want their dairy. How do you approach this? How do you kind of now, here's one parent eating a certain way and the kids are kind of caught up. They might not want to have the meat, but they want the dairy. And then mom is trying to do whole plant-based. Like how much pressure is that on her? Is she supposed to make three kinds of meals or do you have any suggestions around how to handle that? Yeah. or how to negotiate that there, there are two ways to go about it if mom is the only one who is cooking so let's say the dad is not cooking so uh, mom can in a way so if for, for the kids uh, it's easy to replace the dairy with the plant-based milk so what, whatever dish she's making and she can still cook the kids favorite meal but instead like just uh, substitute it so that that's not so hard. Yeah. yeah 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 but when it comes to the meat, uh, so even like there are uh, uh, meat-based dishes, so where you can use a seitan, where it, it has that uh, flavor uh, and the consist uh, consistency, sorry, the texture and consistency of the meat. So let's say even, uh, uh, so one example is uh, uh, in, in Indian, we have butter chicken, which, which is favorite, which was even Arjun's favorite. But when I use soy curls uh, instead of uh, chicken, so they, they look like chicken pieces and they taste the same. So even when that is served to a non-cooking partner or, uh, so they still enjoy that favorite. So one thing is you don't have to mention, but still make their favorite dishes, mm -hmm. but in a plantifying manner. So that's one thing. But let's say if they are so much insistent, they said, no, like I do want to have meat. So, here is, uh, is the same thing, like it's always better to go with why first, and then rather than trying to fight. But like if you honor that request, okay, this is what you want to have and let them have, prepare it for them, Th that can be done. But like you, during preparation, you can do something. So let's say if you're preparing one dish, you can take half of the dish and add the meat component to that. Mm -hmm. and. Okay. And the rest half, you can prepare it the way you want. So in, in the dinner table, like both can have their own dish. So, so the like stir fry vegetables. Exactly, yeah. yes. Yeah. They could add chicken to theirs, but you don't have to, and you're not making three different meals like you're a mall. Yeah. 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 Okay. So the theme we see here is uh, one is the availability of their favorite food. Yes. And the second thing is acceptance of the fact that sometimes what we, you know, at the dinner table, we want, like, you know, if, if we know the benefits of plant-based eating and we want everyone else around us also yes. accept it like right away. Yes. But knowing, knowing that it doesn't work that way, like people need, everyone is on their own path and yeah. all we can do is like nudge them and encourage them. And what we uh, saw what that was uh, working consistently well was, encouraging them to just watch, have a, uh, like a movie night, like a date night, mm -hmm. just watch it down and let's watch, let's watch uh, Forks Over Knives. Let's right. watch Game Changers. No, let's right. watch Cowspiracy. And don't say anything like they don't, uh, sometimes um, the partner might say, oh, if I watch that movie, maybe I have to change my diet. No, you give them the freedom to say, you know what, you do whatever you want to do, but I really want you to have this information. Right. So you really treat it as information, not trying to coerce someone or convince someone or persuade someone. You just really want to hear some information. Can we, you know, and uh, not be egging them on or anything. Just let them take it in and, and at their own pace and make sense of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah.